dreams My gift to you is my life I'll always remember the time you first called me Out of my empty sleep To waken in me the hope of a new day The love I wanted to see Beginning today, my mornings are yours The hopes that dreams my gift I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. These words from the prophet Jeremiah remind us of God's care and providence for his people through his appointed leaders. Today for our community of St. Joseph's Parish Juhu, it is a blessed moment indeed as we gather to witness the induction of our new parish priest, Father Simon Lopez, by Father Felix de Souza, Dean of our Central Suburbs Deanery. Today is also Father Simon's birthday, and we wish him God's grace and strength. May God bless the desires of his heart. We also welcome Father Edwin Azevedo to our parish community and wish him a fruitful ministry among us. We welcome all the other celebrants to this Eucharistic celebration. May St. Joseph, our patron, intercede for us and bless us. A very good morning to one and all. We sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear Father Simon, dear Father John, uh, Joe, sorry, Edwin and Alvin, and my dear people, representatives of the council and the small Christian communities as well as the religious. Welcome to this celebration because normally the induction is a big event in any parish only because of the pandemic and the lockdown restrictions we have had a very few here present because we can't keep postponing the induction ceremony. My dear Father Simon, when our Lord founded the church, he entrusted the care of his flock to Peter and the apostles. This office has been handed over to the successors of Peter and the bishops. The bishop who heads this diocese has entrusted you and appointed you as parish priest of St. Joseph's Church, Juhu. That is why all of us, we give our full support to you because you are the representative of the Archbishop of Bombay in this very parish. In as much as we support you, you are called to lend your support to the Archdiocese through the Cardinal Archbishop and all the others he represents to show loyalty to the Universal Church and to the Church in the Archdiocese of Mumbai. It's an important event in your life, Simon, as well as the life of this parish. And what other day to celebrate it than your very own birthday. And therefore, as mentioned in the introduction, God's choicest blessings as you start your ministry and you thank God for giving you or entrusting you this wonderful parish to prepare ourselves worthily to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Christ, have mercy on your people gathered here. We confess we have sinned in thoughts, words, and deeds. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. We ask the blessings of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Let us pray. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to all of us, and may he who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish but consecrated the integrity Make us children acceptable to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading from the prophet Isaiah. Their race will be famous throughout the nations, their descendants throughout the peoples. All who see them will admit that they are a race whom the Lord has blessed. I exult for joy in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in the cloak of integrity like a bridegroom wearing his wealth, like a bride adorned in her jewels. For as the earth makes fresh things grow, as a garden makes seed springs up, so will the Lord make both integrity and praise springs up in the sight of the nations. The word of the Lord. Our response, my heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. All together. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exults in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labor for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. It is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is in the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. He lifts up the lonely from the dust. From the dumb heap, he raises the poor. To set them in the company of prince. To give them a glorious throne. 
Stand for the gospel acclamation. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing His praise, sing His praise, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who treasured the word of God and ponder it in our heart. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour. Because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid, yes, from this day forward all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things to me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry has filled with the good things, the rich sent empty away. He has come to help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he has made to ancestors, of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear Father Simon, dear brother priests, sisters, and my dear people. Father Simon will always remember his induction being in COVID times because we don't expect the COVID situation for another hundred years. And so wherever he, if he is inducted elsewhere, it will be a full-fledged ceremony, but today we have the restricted version. Nevertheless, Father Simon is privileged to have his induction close enough to the Feast of Sacred Heart, which we celebrated yesterday. Today, the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and Father Simon assigned to the parish of St. Joseph. Let us see what we can pick up from the Sacred Heart, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and from St. Joseph. Not only for Father Simon, but for all of us. When we speak of a heart, there are a couple of words that we can find associated with it. One which is in vogue is a sweet heart, we call sweet heart or we have a heart attack or a heart beat. And so these are three examples that help us to get into the three reflections for Father Simon and ourselves. A heart beat must be such that it beats in the love of God. Very often, with blood pressure rising up and going down, the heart beats might be at a different angle. But our challenge is 
that our heart beats with the love of God, the love of Jesus. And this is the challenge that is there not only for the parish priest, but for all of us, that we align ourselves in the love of God. Aligning ourselves away from other things that can take us away from the love and abiding in his love. Secondly, sweetheart is a quite a common word used in the home with couples or with children by their parents. Father Simon, you are called to be a sweetheart to the parishioners over here. And uh, knowing you over the years, I'm sure you will come across as a person available, as a person loving, as a person committed. That makes you a sweetheart. And for all of us here, we need to be a sweetheart, to be committed to our task, to be available in our responsibilities, and always in touch with our mission. And the third thing, Father Simon, you're not called to give a heart attack. That is what we pray for, that all of us, human as we are, might cause a little ruffle somewhere, but definitely when the Lord journeys with us, and especially when Jesus journeys with you and me, he sees that we can bypass this heart attack. And therefore, not good enough to use the word heart attack, we are called to bypass and be in touch with our mission. The Feast of Mary, once again, three reflections, Immaculate Heart of Mary. The first one is today's gospel. My soul magnifies the Lord. You use a magnifying glass to bring a distant object close by. We all, and especially the parish priest, is called to bring the presence of the Lord in the midst of this parish. My soul magnifies the Lord. All of us are called, especially the leader, the pastor, Father Simon, to magnify the blessings of the Lord and bring the love of the God, which might seem distant, especially in this pandemic situation, closer to ourselves. The second very of, often used example of Mary is her yes to God. We have heard this often, and so as you have said yes right through from your ordination days, all of us in different capacities are called to say yes to the voice of God. To say yes, even if challenges come our way, especially during this pandemic, we really do not know why things happen, but yet we can have hope that things will move out if we have got that yes and commitment to God. And the third thing of I like about Mary, is a famous line, the best advice given by any woman to anyone else during the wedding feast of Cana in Galilee. Do whatever he tells you. Father Simon, do whatever the good Lord tells you. Keep in tune with his voice, and therefore, you will do whatever he tells you. And for all of us here, we are also called in the midst of our daily routine to do whatever he tells you. And this is a beautiful parish, St. Joseph's. I visited it often for various reasons. And uh, this is the year dedicated to St. Joseph by Pope Francis. And therefore, the three qualities that stand out among others of St. Joseph is one, a man who paid attention to his dreams. See the number of dreams he had and he paid attention to those. And that's why, because he was attentive to the dreams of the given Lord, he saved the child, he saved Mary. So be in touch with 
the dream that Lord wants from you, Father Simon, for this beautiful parish. And all of us need to support Father Simon in this dream that he has to make this a vibrant parish. The second quality of St. Joseph is he was a protector. He protected Mary, he protected the child Jesus. A pastor today stands to protect his people against the spiritual evils that are there in society. And along with the love and support of the people, Father Simon, you will be called to be the protector of this parish. And thirdly, St. Joseph was a person who cared for the family, cared for the family. He was so very loving, committed to his task, that the child grew up, child Jesus grew up in strength, maturity, and that is what you have to bring about Father Simon in this parish, that growth by which you can be proud of that you have done your best along with the love and support of the wonderful parishioners of St. Joseph. On this, the happy day of your induction, as well as your birthday, wherein you thank God for the gift of life, all of us here wish you the very best. May the sacred heart of Jesus always be with you. May the blessings, intercession of Mary journey with you. And may St. Joseph protect you and this beautiful parish. Amen. I now invite Father Alvin to read the appointment letter. Dear Father Simon, I hereby appoint you parish priest of St. Joseph's Church, Juhu, with effect from June 1st, 2021. Enclosed, find the provisions of canon law and all documents related to your appointment. I'm sending you a copy of this letter, wishing you a fruitful ministry at Juhu with every good wish. I remain yours sincerely in Christ, Oswald Cardinal Gracious, Archbishop of Bombay, dated April the 19th, 2021. I call upon Father Simon. Father Simon, you have accepted to be the parish priest of this church. Remember to be always a loving father, gentle shepherd, a good teacher to your people, the young, the elderly, the sick, and the homebound. Lead them all to Christ our Lord, who will be your strength in all your endeavors. In the presence of people who are committed to your care, I call you to make your commitment. Kindly read the profession of faith and the oath of office. I, Father Simon Lopez, with firm faith, believe and profess each and everything that is contained in the symbol of faith, namely, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us man and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through his prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With firm faith, I also believe everything contained in the word of God, whether written or handed down in the tradition, which the church, either by the solemn judgment or by the ordinary and universal magnetism, and the set forth to the believer as a divine, divinely revealed. I also firmly accept the whole and each and everything definitely professed by the church regarding teaching on faith and morals. Moreover, I adhere with the religious submission of the will and the intellect to the teachings which either the Roman pontiff or the college of the bishops enunciate with they exercise their authenticity, even if they do not intend to proclaim these teachings by definitive act. Father Simon, a few questions before you take the oath of office. Are you willing, as a trusted collaborator of the Order of Bishops, to fulfill your office in ceaselessly caring for the Lord's flock? I do. Are you willing to celebrate the mysteries of Christ for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? I do. Are you willing to fulfill the ministry of the word by the preaching of the gospel and the teaching of the Catholic faith? I do. Do you wish to unite yourself more closely day by day to Christ, the eternal priest, who gave himself up to the Father for our sake, and with him you consecrate your life to God? I do. Do you promise reverence and obedience to your archbishop and his successors? I do. May God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to completion. Amen. Amen. Kindly read the oath of office, Father Simon. I, Father Simon Lopez, on assuming the office of parish priest of St. Joseph Church, you who promised that I shall always preserve communion with the Catholic Church, whether in words or in the way I act. With great care and fidelity, I shall carry out the responsibilities by which I am bound both in the relation to the universal church and to the particular church in which I am called to exercise my service according to the requirements of the law. In carrying out the charge which is committed to me in the name of the church, I shall preserve the deposit of the faith in its entirely hand it on to the faithful and make it shine forth as a result whatsoever teachings are contrary I shall shun. I shall follow the and foster the common discipline of the whole church and shall look after the observance of all the ecclesiastical laws, especially those which are contained in the code of canon law. With Christian obedience, I shall follow what is declared by the holy pastors as authentic doctors and the teachers of the faith, or established by them as the leaders of the church. I shall faithfully assist the diocese and bishops so that apostolic activity to be exercised in the name and by the mandate of the church is carried out in communion with the same church. I also promise to observe secrecy regarding the matters concerning my office according to the stipulation of the code of the canon law and the lawful prescriptions of the superiors. So help me God and this his holy gospels which I touch with my hands. Kindly let Father Simon touch the gospel book. Father Simon, you are called to sign here.
we'll all stand and give him a warm welcome into this parish as the parish priest. Yeah. Um, there are a couple of things before he meets uh, the priests and the people. I uh, request uh, the assistance, Father Edwin and Father Alwyn, to lead Father Simon to the four places which are very essential as his ministry to this parish. First, to the tabernacle. The lectern. The baptismal font. And the confessional. We have the prayer of the faithful first and then the meeting of the team. When God asks us to do a particular task, he also gives us the strength to accomplish it. As the disciples whom Jesus sent out, you are able to cast out the evil and cure the sick. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Please repeat. For the people, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that as people chosen by God, that may carry out their mission with a deep sense of responsibility. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our newly appointed parish priest, Father Simon Lopez, that God may bless him with every grace to be a good shepherd to his people after the heart of Jesus. On his birthday, we also pray for the good health of his parents and his family members. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Edwin Azevedo, our new priest, that God may bless him abundantly in his ministry and for vocations to priesthood and religious life, that the youth of today may welcome God's call and prepare themselves for a life of service in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians all over the world, that they may appreciate their call to discipleship and may live their lives as holy and blameless in God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. And on this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love, O oh Lord. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love. With this bread and wine, we come to this Eucharistic feast on this day. Brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this bread and wine symbolize the lives of all of us gathered here on this wonderful day as Father Simon takes charge of this parish. As this bread and wine will change into the body and blood of of his son. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to give us the grace to change ourselves so that we align ourselves with your son. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty and salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done marvelous things and extended your mercy from age to age. And so, with the saints and angels in heaven, we praise and glorify your name forever. Holy, holy. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall. They become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. It is fitting that at this part of the Mass, we praise and thank the Lord for the gift of Father Joe, who has been here in this parish for the work you have done for being the pastor in this very parish. How many years, Joe? Seven. Seven years. Thanking you on behalf of the parishioners for all the wonderful things they have done, and especially your pastoral attachment and passion to this parish. Thank you very much. We pray for you as you have moved on to another parish. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Cardinal Oswald, all our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him with them in him in the unity of the holy spirit all honor and honor is yours almighty father forever and ever amen together let us say the beautiful prayer the lord has given us our father what in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin safe from all distress we await the blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always we offer one another the joy of this day the sign of peace i invite father simon to greet the priests lamb of god take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace this is jesus the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world happy are we called to this banquet of love Lord I'm not worthy but only say the word and my soul shall be We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord O Lord Jesus since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever o jesus living in mary come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power in the communion of your mysteries in the perfection of your ways o divine guest give to my soul a strong lively faith an unbounded trust perfect humility an abiding sorrow for my sins a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine lord jesus thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion oh lord my god when i in a sin wonder consider all the world i hand as me i see the stars Thy 
I invite uh, Father Simon yeah, to open the register as part, a symbolic act to say that he will also take over the administration of this parish. We stand for the post-communion prayer. Then Father Simon will say a few words. Let us pray as we receive this heavenly sacrament. We beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of redemption through Christ our Lord. Kindly be seated. My dear friends, the Lord says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you to go to the world and bear much fruit. My dear Father Felix de Souza, the Dean of Central Suburbs Deanery, my co-workers, Reverend Fathers, Alvin and Edwin, Father Joe Pereira, sisters present over here, members of the parish council and dear friends. First of all, I would like to thank Heavenly Father for electing and choosing me to be the parish priest of St. Joseph Church, Juhu. For the last 31 years, I have been working in the school, but now I have been uprooted from there and planted here. And it is said that bloom where you are planted. In order to grow and bloom over here, my dear parishioners, you are going to be my manure and water. With your cooperation and support, surely I will grow and I will bloom over here. Thanking Heavenly Father for the gift of life to me also as I celebrate my birthday today. Dear friends, as we have come towards the end of this induction ceremony, I would like to thank Reverend Father Felix de Souza, the Dean of the Central Suburbs Deanery, for presiding over this Eucharistic celebration and induction ceremony. I know Father Felix since last 20 years. In 2002, I was appointed there at St. Paul's High School at Hinmata Dadar as a principal and father was in the neighboring Kardine Technical School as a director. So we had close association almost for six years when I was there from 2002 to 2008. So, Father Felix, thank you for coming over here and uh, presiding over this Eucharistic celebration function today. I would like to also thank uh, my co-workers, Father Alvin and Father Edwin. I came here on the 1st of June and uh, that day itself, I'm feeling quite at home. Before coming here, the last week at Pawai at Holy Trinity Church, I was uh, in fear and panic, thinking about how high I would be able to go, stay over there. And the first few days, you know, wherever we go, we feel homesick. But very first day itself, because of my co-workers, I felt quite at home here at Jew. So thank you, Father Alwin and Father Edwin. They also have worked very hard for this today's induction ceremony and to organize this Eucharistic celebration for all of us. I also like to thank Father Joe, who has worked in this parish very hard for the last seven years. We pray for him. We especially pray to Heavenly Father to bless Father Joe with good health of mind and body. Father Joe, thank you for coming over for this function and joining us in this Eucharistic celebration. I would like to thank also 
your representatives who are present here from the parish council the parish council representatives are here from finance committee also from representation is here from steering committee from the youth and from other association and sales thank you for your presence over here and god bless all of you looking forward for your cooperation and support my stay over here together yes surely we make and we bring a change over here now at this joyous moment at this time we know that whole world all of us we are in panic and fear people are afraid to come out of their houses not able to go out because of the lockdown but this is a joy celebration which bring joy and happiness to all of us and what shall i say surely with your cooperation support will bring a change over here change in this world and at this moment i would like to express this in a one shairi that is aajkal zamana hai कोरोना का आजकल जमाना है कोरोना का जिस कंबक ने दम करके रखा है हमारे नाक में जिस कंबक ने दम करके रखा है हमारे नाक में जो निवास करता है हमारे दिल के पास हमारे लंग्स में जो निवास करता है हमारे दिल के पास हमारे लंग्स में लेकिन जुहू के पैरिशनर्स आप ओ अच्छे लोग हैं जो रखे जाते हैं दिल के कोने में जो इस कोरोना को इस दुनिया को भगा देगा दैट इज यू आर पीपल विथ मी द पैरिशनर्स ऑफ जू टुगेदर विल वर्क डूरिंग दिस पैंडेमिक टाइम फॉर आर पीपल सो वंस अगेन थैंकिंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड आर टीम द मीडिया टीम द वो आर गोइंग टू टेलीकास्ट दिस प्रोग्राम टूमारो फॉर आर पैरिशनर्स so thank you for this uh, digital and online team we have which is present here working for us today so thanking one and all and god bless you didn't know father simon had the shairi over there and it's uh, our <coughs> very rainy day so i want to match with you badal garajne lagte hai to aasman mein bijli kadakti hai badal garajne lagte hai to aasman mein bijli kadakti hai father simon aap yahan parish priest hai to dil mein nayi ummang tapakti hai kindly stand the lord be with you bow your heads and pray for god's blessing and may god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit go in the peace and love of christ thanks sweet god have a wonderful day